Oh, hello folks. Welcome to the Star Wizard Ranch. We're glad to give you some more entertainment. <laughs> here we go. Now we have we're at the boneyard right here. This is a uh, an old Toyota truck, you know, that we're looking at. And uh, we're gonna repurpose this little Toyota truck. Yeah, it's, a, it's got the insides is all taken out, okay? The motors and the transmission is gone, all right? That's what's left of this little Oda. Anyway, this is a museum piece of art right here, but <laughs> anyway, there's some value to this little Oda yet. She doesn't look all used up, but we're gonna take part of this Toyota and we're gonna put it on a trailer. And yes, which part we're going to use for the trailer. All right, here. This is what a Toyota looks like. This is uh, at the Boneyard at the Star Wizard Ranch. And uh, look at, there's still some parts in here, right, folks? Huh? Look at, there's a nice uh, split window for you and the headliners. And, you know, they got the, uh, there's some extra parts. Anyway, good windshield yet. Not a crack on it. But I got this for my other Oda parts, you know, and this is also the cab, you know, that uh, kind of protects some things out of the weather if you want to throw it in here. But uh, every ranch should have an old few cars, you know, that uh, has been around a while. Yeah, oh, see, somebody took that. That that was there. All right, somebody took that off there, little stinkers. So those are tough to find. Anyway, this is some Oda parts in here. Whether you see them or not, there's some good things in this little truck. And this looks like it used to be a, oh, it is a Toyota four-wheel drive. You see that, folks? Uh, it used to be a four-wheel drive Toyota. Okay, anyway, uh, we're going to repurpose this and use this as part of our trailer. Now, I'm going to show you some measurements here. Okay, hold, hold on. Don't fall over on me. Okay, and we go to the end there. Can you get it on there? <laughs> Hold on, people. Anyway, we're gonna go, and that is six, six feet four inches. Approximately six feet four inches long. How wide do you think it is, huh, people? Uh, let's see. Let's see how wide she is. Okay, and we're looking at five foot there, okay, and we'll do this measurement again so you guys didn't get a chance to see it. That's a six, three, six, four long, okay, six foot four inches long. And uh, she's going to sit off the trailer approximately two feet, six inches. We got two feet, six inches of it sitting up on it. Okay. The trailer light should go right in these holes without a problem. I know. I did this once, but I want to see the tailgate. Come on. She's being a little groovy. Anyway, we don't need to see that. But anyway, there's a bed right there. I can get a tailgate at the junkyard or I'll run across one soon. You know that. And uh, we'll put that on here. And we'll have a perfectly nice little bin to put bin, uh, food in for the piggies. Yeah, that is going to be a great plan. Okay, there's a repurpose for every. It's like when you get these vehicles, these old ones, you can get them for nothing and have a place to put them. They, they end up, uh, you know, there's some value in that. A lot more value than I can tell you. Anyway, the price of lumber. Okay, a $33 piece of lumber because of the pandemic, it went to $100. Okay. People panic buying. They think they got to buy everything and get it before somebody else gets it. And then it yanks the price way up. Anyway, when Keith gets here, we're going to take this and bring the trailer down the flatbed. And we're going to throw this on top of that and uh, see if this is doable.
And the lights, I got, you know, LED lights coming. So we're going to have a nice little trailer here. It's going to look a little hokey, I'm sorry to say. But I don't care what it looks like as long as it can carry things. And then we can move up in the world on another thing, okay? <laughs> anyway, this is what I'm doing to save some money on a trailer. I'm going to take the bed off of this truck here, and I'm going to put it on that, that metal trailer. It used to be a wooden box trailer, but the price of lumber is too expensive. And we have this here sitting here at the boneyard, and uh, I just want to make sure we do something with it, and that's what's going to happen. So anyway, guys, uh, I hope that you... Here's another boneyard truck, too. It's an F-150. This is kind of an old classic, this this thing is. And uh, this one has a uh, flatbed on it. I do have the tire, so this can... You know, the transmission went on this thing. Okay? And that's why she's sitting over here. But she did haul some hay a few times. She um, helped a few friends move... And that was the last of the transmission. I'm not sure what they did with this truck when I loaned it to them, but I learned a lesson. Don't loan your vehicles to anybody, you know? And this is why that was the last of that truck there. Anyway, she, uh, she's on a non-op. And uh, anyway, that's a sad story about that truck. But anyway, uh, that's a 91, I think that's a, no, 95 ford f-150 yeah and uh that's another project down the road you know and uh the toyota right there we're gonna get that working too uh for some other purpose you know they'll see the rear ends good in there and the, the leaf springs down below there's some stuff in there that you know and i think the drive shaft is there am i looking right Looks like, yeah, there's, there is a drive shaft going on in there. Yeah, hey, the drive shaft is there. Well, that's a very good thing. <laughs> anyway, <sighs> hey, if the drive shaft's there, what else is there? Let's take a look. You guys want to take a look, see what's under this little thing? All right, taking a peek. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We got brake lines down there. Oh, well, the drive shaft. Oh, <laughs> the drive shaft is there. Look at that. You see? And oh, uh, I don't see the. I wonder what that line was. Right there. Anyway, this is what it looks like under an old truck that sat here for a long time. But the rear end's still good, folks. All right, so. That's what a, an old Toyota looks like. Uh, matter of fact, we can go on the other side, maybe. Usually it tells you about what kind of truck it is. Let's go see. It's great to look at these old cars in the boneyard. Okay, a uh, little bit of vines growing up here. Uh huh. Now, we see a template. Yeah, right there. There it is, folks. How can that just go goes up behind my jacket? There we go. I don't know, can you see that? Anyway, I can read it to you if you can't see it. It's a Toyota Motor Corp 85. It says it's a uh, gross weight, 4,000 pounds. Whoa. That's a March of 85. Gross vehicle weight. Front, rear, this vehicle conforms. This is a type, it's a truck made in Japan, right? Huh. Anyway, enough of that. Okay, guys, yep, they took that too, that side, uh-huh, little stinkers. Okay, well, that's what's at this side. I think that's going to be a great part of the trailer, you know, instead of wood, we got metal. Metal will last the rest of our lives, that's what I told 
and a candy. Let's <laughs> get a trailer that lasts for a while. So here we go. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching. And I hope you were entertained. And like always, the Star Wizard concentrates on making sad people happy. I hope you're happy today. I sure am. Living life in sunny California. I couldn't imagine living anywhere else. I truly, sincerely believe that. I don't think there's anything better than this in the world. You know, if you should say differently, please comment down below. Are you glad you're in California? Well, in some ways, I'm very, very super happy I'm in California, but the people that run it kind of are boneheads. You know, first off with the six plant cannabis limit, that was another insanity move. Don't really think that's a good move, but St. Augustine lives right down. Uh, he goes that road to the left, and that's where Mr. Augustine lives. And uh, he's making it so there's no potheads in his area, in his place, that his grandfathers came here and discovered the lands and took forthright from the Indians. <laughs> anyway, that's your entertainment for today, folks. And like always, don't stress out over the small things. You know, really, life is just meant to be having fun. And have as much fun while you're here, because it goes quick. Don't be stressed out. Don't be yelling at people. Do your due diligence and uh, make the world a better place. I'm working on it. I'm trying to raise happy piggies on the Star Wizard Ranch. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are well. And uh, stay tuned for some more of this uh, building this trailer out of an old Toyota and uh, making it from wood to metal. Out with the old and with the new. <laughs>